Hey guys, it's your girl Joyce. Welcome back to my channel. So a few videos ago in my Shein Summer haul, I did try out a few bikinis and I did mention that I was looking a little bit pasty. But today we're gonna be changing that because I will be self tanning for the first time ever. I've never found the reason to tan, but because I'm going to South Carolina in a week or so, I just wanted to even out my entire body because although my face and my arms and my legs are tan, my stomach is not. And because I want to get there with a nice healthy glow. So if you guys are interested in this new self tanning routine and you also want to see me review this product, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below and let's just jump into it. So I know that there's a bunch of tanning products out there on the market, but the reason why I chose this Isle of Paradise one was specifically because I've heard great things about the product but because this refill packet uses 81% less plastic. So we're all about helping the environment here. So this product is infused with color correcting actives and a violet base for a natural bronze glow with no streaks, no smells, or orange tones. We'll keep that in mind. On the website, there are three shades. There's light, medium, and dark. I chose the dark shade because it just seemed like it matched my complexion the best. So it says that the first thing you should do is exfoliate 24 hours before tanning and moisturize dry areas such as your hands, your feet, your knees, your ankles, and elbows prior to application. If you guys didn't know, I have two videos on this channel related to exfoliating your skin. I have one about a Korean exfoliating glove and I have one about a Moroccan exfoliating glove. Definitely go check it out if you guys wanted to figure out ways on how to exfoliate your skin properly before you self tan. I also got this hair mist on Amazon. I think it was about like eight bucks and you're supposed to put the tanning liquid inside of here. And the reason why I got this instead of the traditional glove that most people use is because this has an ultra fine mist and continuous spray so that it can cover large areas quickly and easily so that you can also cover all the parts of your skin without any patchiness. It says mist until skin is totally saturated covering face, hands, and feet last before blending with a tanning mitt using sweeping motions. Thoroughly wash palms after use. Your tan will develop in four to six hours, so in the meantime, eat some ice cream, watch a movie, call a girlfriend. Just don't get the tan wet while it develops. I mean, it smells really good. I'll do the rest of my skin, I guess. Don't forget your feet because you're gonna look really silly if your tan cuts off by your ankles. So definitely massage that tanner into your toes, onto your feet, every crevice in your body. One thing's for sure, I'm definitely not putting this on my face because, I mean, you can if you want to. I would actually recommend you use the tanning oils so you can actually mix it into your face lotions, but I have a full on and I'm not putting this over because it's not going to do anything for my skin so my face is going to stay pale. So I put a nice healthy layer all over my body and I still have a lot of product left over. I don't know if I should just use more but like I feel like I've got every crack in my body thanks to the spray. I didn't have to ask anyone to help me with my back because I could just like spray the parts and reach kind of around that area but like I guess I'm just gonna let myself soak for six hours and I'll let you guys know if this worked. All right guys, so here are the results six hours later. I actually lied, I took off my makeup and I just put self tanner all over my face because I wanted the entire body to be evenly tanned. And so what are we thinking? Honestly, at first I couldn't tell a difference and I wasn't really sure if it was working until I saw my foot. You can see there's a huge contrast between the bottom of my foot, which is my natural skin tone, and the self tanner. Yeah, so just a word of advice, make sure you're diligently rubbing through each crack in your body, especially your toes and your fingers, and any part of your body where it might be a little bit obvious that you use self tanner. I have zero makeup on my face besides my eyebrows done, and this is what my skin looks like. At this rate, I'm probably going to need a new foundation shade because this is way darker than what I originally have. But like, I'm looking healthy, I'm looking glowy, all without any UV exposure. So to wrap it all up, I love this Isle of Paradise self-tanning water 
and this spray applicator. I think these are a match made in heaven. I hope you guys enjoy this review and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!